we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Now we got it. I say sorry, you guys. <laughs> hey, guys. It is Sunday night, and I am Leah Virgin, your Christian life coach and author at BurstingWithBlessings.com. And my Facebook page, I've got Instagram going now. I apologize. I know, like, somebody was um, saying the other day, make sure you, you, you come out with a bang when you go live. And I'm like, well, it's Sunday. It's Messy Bun Day. It's uh, laundry and grocery shopping and all the things day. So, you know, a little glitch at the beginning of this. <laughs> So I am super excited to be back live here with you guys. This summer has been um, kind of a heavy summer for me. And I, you guys know, the hashtag real and raw, that I um, always try to be really truthful with you guys. Um, not so raw that you guys are like, oh my gosh, she's, no, I don't want to follow her. <laughs> Um, I've definitely been leaning on God a lot. I've been leaning on prayer. I've been leaning on um, proclaiming the word of God over myself and just seeking where God wants um, and, and where God wants me to intentionally spend my time because I had to add in more work um, to help our family financially. <laughs> Messy hair day, right? <laughs> And so, you know, for me, I work seven days a week to make sure that I'm building my ministry business as well as um, taking care of my family and, you know, writing, ghostwriting, doing other things that help serve my family and grow this ministry because this is really important to me. I want my ministry to be at a place where it's profitable for our family and I don't have to do extra things. So, um you know, for me, I am looking at how often to go live again. I am looking at how to make that work because I do love serving. I love serving. I know that God has called me to this place. I am blessed that he gives me the words for a daily devotional for you guys every day. I don't know how he does. I have no idea why he has picked me. And, you know, it's interesting because I'm in a place now in my in my ministry business, entrepreneurship, where I accept it. I am called and he qualifies me. You know, I don't buck at it as much as I used to. I still have some moments, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, it's really interesting, this season of life. People, um, God keeps bringing amazing women into my life to really speak into my life. And um, the other day, um, my friend said to me, how can you not run that awesome Bible study again? Okay, so I am going to run it again, starting August 10th. August 10th, August 10th, I am going to start, start up the how to be, leave, believe and be a woman of worth coaching Bible study. Um, I ran that a couple months ago and it was really powerful. It was really awesome. And my friend said, you need to run this again. This is a blessing. It needs to be constantly going because women need to know that they are worthy. They are called. And not just know it in your head, but believe it and be it. Okay? Because I'll ask women, like, you know, you know God has called you worthy. And they'll be like, yeah, I know, but I don't really feel it. And that's not okay. It's not okay that the enemy is, you know, keeping us back from our dreams, from our gifts, from our calling. Um, because, you know, he knows how to get that critical voice inside our heads to speak at us and to keep us marginalized and pushed down and not walking with bold courage into our gifts and calling. One of the things I was reading was 1 Peter 3, 9, and I made it into a proclamation. I am called for this purpose that I might inherit a blessing. We are blessed to be a blessing. That is powerful, right? We are blessed to be a blessing. We are called for our purpose, whatever that may be. 
and every single purpose is beautiful and wonderful no matter what this world says I don't care if you serve in a library if you serve in your home exclusively whether you serve from home online <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is we are blessed to be a blessing and we are called we are qualified we are gifted and we are powerful when we are empowered by the Holy Spirit Ephesians 3 16 through 17 I am empowered with inner strength by his spirit from the treasures of his glory I am rooted and founded in love amen you are rooted and founded in love you are worthy you are wonderful you are valuable. Yes, we are undeserving of his forgiveness. But once we have it, we always have it. Never gets taken away. Therefore, it is our duty to walk in worthiness. Instead of believing the lies of the enemy, I see this all the time in these Facebook groups. Women popping up saying, I just don't feel worthy. I'm scared when Jesus comes back. No, we rebuke fear in the name of Jesus Christ. We are loved. We are called. We are forgiven. We are free. We are worthy. And we are wonderful. There should not be an iota. Oh my gosh, I wish I had my Bible down here. First Peter says, First Peter chapter 5 or 4, and he's speaking directly to women and he said, do not fear anything, anything, not one thing. And I just wanted to reach out and I wanted to hug that woman and say, fear comes from the enemy and he keeps you from walking in your gifts. He keeps you from being a part of God's kingdom agenda by keeping us wrapped in fear. And Proverbs chapter 4. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze on what lies in front of you. Level the path for your feet. Let all your ways be properly prepared. Then deviate neither right nor left and keep your foot far from evil. Think about that. He's, the Lord is telling us to level the path with him, with his word. And let our ways be properly prepared. We prepare our way by speaking the word of God over ourselves, by asking the Lord where we should be, what we should be doing day by day, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Psalm 138.3, when I called, you answered me, you made me bold and strong. The tongue has power over life and death. So speak it. And so I am starting up how to believe you are a woman of worth, Bible study, August 10th. And I have some testimonies I'll share from the other women that did it back a couple of months ago. And I want you guys to prayerfully consider coming into that Bible study with me. It will be in a closed Facebook group. And we will be sharing life together. We'll be empowering each other. We'll be walking side by side with one another. And I know, I know that this will be a blessing, right? When we keep calling on the name of the Lord, keep digging deep into the word, right? We are planted in streams of living water. And he makes our leaf never to wither. And whatever we do to prosper because we're planted in his streams of living water. So let's pray over our upcoming week. Lord Jesus, thank you for this Sunday. Thank you for your love and mercy. Thank you that we can call on you. That we can look and see that you have forgiven us. That you have made us valuable, qualified, worthy, wonderful. To walk your kingdom agenda on our lives. We want to walk that kingdom agenda out. Lord, I pray that you would surround us with your favor as a shield, that you would um, help us to cling to your word, to imprint it upon our hearts and minds, and to boldly walk out that day by day. Lord, help us to speak out loud your holy word so that we can prepare a path, so we can walk it and not deviate from it. Lord, I pray that you would um, help us to be a blessing to all those around us. To speak words of life this week. To day by day, 
know that we are worthy and capable of all you have called us to do. We give you thanks and praise this day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me this day. You honor me, and I don't take that lightly. I know, and I am so blessed. I'm so blessed. I have no idea why he called and qualified me to write a daily devotional, to be your Christian life coach, to deliver his word. But I am so grateful. I am so grateful that I get to do this life with you. And so if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can message me at Leah Mason Virgin. Leah Mason dash virgin or you can go to burstingwithblessings.com under learn with Leah and you can sign up and we will start August 10th I'm super excited I am prayerfully considering how often to go live on the open pages you can also always join the closed page which is which is blessed Christian life coaching with Leah and I will plug you into that group. I do a lot of um, proclamations, little mini prayers there, lots of other good stuff there. I only have so much bandwidth, you guys. I'm trying to make sure that I reach and grow this ministry for his kingdom agenda. And so I'm super grateful you guys are here. And I will see you guys later this week, tomorrow with the Daily Devotional, of course. Ah, uh, thanks.